Only a connoisseur with an eye as refined as that of Mrs. Lily Safra could have assembled this collection of 70 rare jewels embracing all the greatest periods of jewelry design and the work of the most renowned international jewelers. And only someone with her philanthropic conviction could have decided to part with these exceptional jewels for such a commendable cause. The Lily Safra Foundation will donate the proceeds of the sale, which will be held in Geneva on May 14th, to 20 charitable institutions around the world. Furthermore, any proceeds of the auction above $20 million will be donated to additional charitable organizations selected by the foundation. Lily and her late husband Edmund Safra formed a couple of passionate collectors who searched for the highest quality in many collecting fields, from old master to modern paintings, 18th century furniture, gold boxes, watches and jewelry. This demanding and universal approach to collecting carries through each jewel and gemstone in this sublime collection, giving it also a sense of timeless elegance and enduring value. A magnificent example is the Eglantine necklace by Cartier, manufactured in 1906 and possibly one of its kind. It illustrates the splendor of the Belle Epoque with the pavé set diamond dog rose flower heads entwined amongst emerald berries and foliate wreaths. This is but one example of refined taste and exquisite craftsmanship evident in the collection from the 18th century through the Art Deco years all the way to modern times. In her search for originality and perfection, Mrs. Lily Safra encountered one of the greatest jewelers of our time, namely Joel Rosenthal of Jarre in Paris. For her, he mounted a pear-shaped diamond of 37 carats, not into a ring or a pendant or a necklace, but entangled in the stem of two tourmaline poppy heads forming a brooch. Another bold creation by the exclusive designer is the camellia brooch, set with 173 carats of rubies of the finest color and quality. The naturalistic flower head is not just a form of ornament, but a truly collectible masterpiece displaying the highest degree of craftsmanship. This search for quality in style and design was applied also to gemstones, as can be seen by the group of amazing solitaire rings. The ruby of 32.08 carats comes from the famous collection of Luzmiya Patino, Countess du Barouvre. It originates from Mogok in Burma, the historic source of exceptional rubies, and displays that special red color, poetically referred to as pigeon's blood. The rectangular cut diamond of 34.05 carats is close to perfection. Referred to as type 2A, the purest form of diamonds, it displays the best color combined with a near-perfect clarity. The Burmese sapphire of 31.21 carats, which carries a deep velvet blue color, forms the perfect addition to this group of single stone rings. The rarity in these three stones lies not only in their color, origin or provenance. To find a pure diamond and a ruby and a sapphire of over 30 carats of this outstanding quality is truly exceptional. Through the sale of this collection, the roles of Mrs. Lily Safra as a collector and a philanthropist will become a means to raise hope and dignity throughout the world. Christie's is proud to be associated with this commendable effort to support worthwhile causes in all charitable fields through a celebration of jewelry as an art form.